Alright, I am here today to show you the doodot bracelet and this is another one of my creations. I call it a dewdrop because of the shapes it's got on the side. And I'm also going to show you how to put on a charm at the end of this. The charm comes from the Rainbow Fun Charms. And if you're looking to get charms like this, but they're really pretty, I really like them. You can get them at, let's see, where we have the address here. www. I'm going to focus rainbowfuncharms.com. Alright, so let's get going and get busy on how to make this. I have my loom, as you can see, set up with the bar out of the middle. And I'm going to start with eight. And I'm using two rubber bands each time. So we're starting out with two eights going across. From there, move my pile over because I'm un unfocusing this every time I reach across. From there, we're going to push these down, and we're going to do a box around all four of these. And again, it's going to be two rubber bands. I'm doing them one at a time just because they go on easier that way. Okay, once I have these on, I'm going to go ahead and pull the bottom two over the top two. This is definitely an advanced bracelet. If you have any question about that, definitely advanced. Okay, so once you've got that done, you're going to do the outer boxes. If you're trying to decide what color you want to make each box, your outer boxes are these two outer bands on your bracelet. They show up like a like a chain around the out top and the bottom of your bracelet. And you give it a nice little trim. So you could do it in a high or a low light to give you an accent around the outside of your bracelet. Once you have those on, Stay focused, please. Once you have those on, that's how they're going to look. You're going to push them down. And you're going to take your hook. Oh, I'm sorry, not your hook yet. You're going to take your next row. Double banded and do your bands across. Now you're going to pull over the bottom two over all three of these. Push everything down. Do your inner box. Remember it's always two bands. We got one and two. I sometimes forget that and then I go to do the next row and I've got it messed up. I hate when I do that. 
and then you're going to pull, this time you're pulling three over. If this is too tight for you, just do them one at a time so you're not pulling off the top while you're trying to pull them over. So this is a repeating pattern of three. All right. So now you're going to go to the outside boxes. And these are singles. Pushing down. Go to your double rows, put them right on top. And you're going to pull over your yellow over both of these, and your yellow over here, over both of these. You're going to pull over your, oops, going orange. I messed up. Sorry about that. We're backing up the yellow. Forgot to put my lines on the middle. Oh no, I didn't. They're on there. Oops, silly me. So we're putting our pulling our reds over. I just didn't see them very well. They're kind of dull. Pulling our two bottom ones over our top ones. Mine are getting pretty tight. If they get too tight, just pull them over one at a time, as I said before. three top, not two top. Push everything down and I'm going to go through this one more time and then I'm going to stop and I'm going to get it to the end and show you how to take it off. All right. So your next step is the red, two boxes in the middle. One, And two. Pull three over. Push it down. In your yellow. So you're just doing your inside box and your outer boxes. And then your hoops are crossed. That's your three steps. Pull the yellow over both pegs on both sides and pull whatever's on the bottom from the previous one over the top, over what you just added on the top. So whether it be two or three, you're going to pull it over what you just added on the top. Alright, so if you haven't got it, rewind and rewatch it because all I'm going to do from this point on is repeat 
you can see the pattern is starting to come off the bottom just starting to I'm going to pause it I'm going to finish off the pattern and then I'm going to show you how to take it off of the loom and so I'll be back okay so I'm ready to take this off and the last step I'm at is I just put on the double ones going across this way and I'm going to pull it up over so you want to finish with this step before you take it off I'm going to take my yellows and push all this down and pull my yellows in. Okay, you may not have seen that one too well, so I'll take it slower for this side. Taking them off of here and putting them on to here. Oops, it's not going to cooperate. Come on, be good. Here, I'm going to hold it in place. And here. So it's across that way. Then I'm going to take everything on the bottom and pull it over that yellow. The same thing here. And then I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. Take it slow doing this because you pulled off doing this and you've lost everything. Okay. Push everything down. Take it from this side over to this side. Put it on. This side to this side. Put it on. Focus up. Well, you don't have to focus up. Pull the bottom over the top. Again. Pull it tight. And this, these two hoops you can pull off with your hook. Pull, keep them on your hook when you pull them off. And this is where you put your C-clip. Okay, and from here I'm going to show you how to put on the jewel that has come from oops, <laughs> the Rainbow Fun Charms Company. And here again we'll show you this one, if I can get all this stuff right side up. One more time, it is from um, www.rainbowfuncharms.com and they were kind enough to uh, send these to me for free so I'm making sure that you get their information so you know where to find them. They're really pretty charms. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the charm. I've already threaded through the band on each side. Let me shut my door so my bard stops chirping at you. And I'm going to put in, I'm putting through two bands on each side. So I'm going through both hoops. Let's get this focused a little better. Pulling it through, putting it on the end. One more time. Pulling it through, putting it on the end. This time, I'm going to pull it through the second hoop and pull it tight. I'm doing the exact same thing on the other side, putting it through both hoops. 
pulling it through, putting it on the end. Pulling it through, putting it on the end. Pulling it through, whoops, we're dropping it. <laughs> Go back through, then try that again. Pulling it through, and pulling it tight. Okay, so this gives you your little charm and you're ready to put it onto your bracelet. You're going to find the middle of your bracelet. And the nice thing about this bracelet, it's got some nice little holes already for you to put your charm through. So what I did was, I spaced it out so that it gives me enough space that I want at, at least one of these little lengths showing. You could leave a couple showing if you want, if you want that to be your design. It's up to you. I like having one showing. So I'm going to go out to about here. I'm going to grab this little end loop and pull it through. And pull it to where I have just one showing on that side. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Going through a hole. It's already there. Grabbing the end loop, pulling it through, all the way through to the other side. And then I'm going to give it an extra tug. I pulled that a little far, that's just fine. I can just pull it back. So now I look at that and I think that's too tight. So I'm going to pull this one out and I'm going to move it over one hole. Because I want it to show the white a little more than that. So I'm going to put my hook through this hole and do that again. And pull it through to about there. Okay, so that's what it's going to look on the, like on the top. It's already done on the top. So then all you got to do is flip it inside out, grab these two hooks, and put a clip through them. To hold them in place. Whatever type of clip is preferable to you. Once they're clipped, you can turn it right side out again. And you have your bracelet. So if you have any questions, let me know, and I hope you enjoy this design. Thank you. And please be sure to check back to my other bracelets. I've got lots of designs online that I'm sure you'll enjoy and like. Thank you.